Hey, in today's video, let's talk about the relationship between a Scrum Master and a Product Manager. If you are new to the channel, my name is Juan. I'm a product leader who has over 20 years experience developing software products and creating business around them. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's start quickly defining what a Product Manager is and what a Scrum Master is. A Product Manager is going to be the person that is trying to deliver value to their customers via a product, a service, or a solution. A Scrum Master is going to be a person that is going to be there to help the team that is implementing the product. Basically, what they are doing is that they are facilitating their work and making sure that they don't have impediments and that they are aligned. And neither both of those positions or roles should be confused with that one of a project manager, which is a totally different one. I will link a video about project management in the description down below. So why is important the relationship between the product manager and the scrum master? This is a very important one because the product manager doesn't really handle the team nor does realistically the scrum master handle the team. Although in some cases they end up being more like a team lead, which is usually not the role, but in some cases it happens. And in some cases, the product manager ends up being the scrum master, which again is not ideal. Ideally, those are two different roles because they have conflicting uh, interests. So it is key to have this relationship being a healthy one and a very collaborative one, because if these two roles work together properly, they can align very well on the targets and the goals of what the teams are doing. So for example, you can think about when they are, you're doing a sprint planning. Usually if you are a product manager, you're going to be concentrating more on what I want to do and what I want to build for the customers. Whereas maybe the Scrum Master is going to be more worried about how we are going to build it and how to enable the team to be able to do that. And I'm going to be more worry about the practices and the practical ways of working of the team. Scrum Masters, what they're going to be, are going to be people that are really good at agile practices. The name comes from Scrum, but I wouldn't just restrict to what they do to just Scrum, but any agile methodology. And in many cases, you can just extrapolate to other methodologies anyways. What they're going to be is that they're going to be great facilitators. They're going to be great at aligning the planning of the product manager together with that one that the team has to deliver, aligning those visions, helping those teams and those different uh, people or people that have different interests work together to make sure that they are targeting or that they are delivering and being able to execute on those plans. Yes, you can do this without a Scrum Master, but then when you go to big organizations or larger teams, you really need to have a Scrum Master or somebody that does that kind of role to help you facilitate the work. It's very easy to talk about self-organizing teams, but the reality is that many of the teams are not that great at self-organizing their work. And this doesn't mean that the Scrum Master is going to organize the work for them, but it's going to facilitate and create the environment where the team actually can start to take ownership of what they are doing. This is why the Scrum Masters are great. And many times nowadays people are stopping to call them Scrum Masters and maybe using more the term Agile Coach. So if you think about the typical collaboration between a Product Manager and a Scrum Master, a Scrum Master might be worried more about how am I going to take all this plan into action? How, how am I going to help that these people align? So for example, creating a sprint plannings or doing a sprint retros reviews where I actually gather these people to make sure that we understand what did we do right on a sprint? What did we do wrong on the sprint? And how can we do it better in the future? Whereas the product manager, although it has to be working in execution, it has to be helping the team solving the questions that they have, it's not going to be necessarily so worried about maybe the day-to-day -day way of working of the team. Unless, well, some product managers can do it, but there are going to be few and not many really. From the point of view of a product manager, having a Scrum Master is great because it's going to help a lot from the point of view of the execution of those plans that the product manager has done. And please don't think that the plans only come from the product manager. The product manager should work with different people, with first of all stakeholders to understand what they have to build, but also with the product designers, software engineers, tech leads, whatnot, to make sure that they have an aligned plan of what can be built and what is realistic and feasible for the team to deliver in a timely manner. So it's wrong when people think that the product manager is only there to bring value to the customer. I think that 
Of course, the product manager is also part of the team and as being part of the team, they should also be able to work with that team and work with them in a daily basis and not be completely detached and leave everything to either the tech lead or the Scrum Master. From the point of view of the Scrum Master, they are there to facilitate the team to be able to work. There are a ton of interruptions that teams have in the work life, like meetings, calls, reports, filling time sheets, whatnot. These things take time. They create a ton of interruptions for the team. And in some teams, sometimes it gets so bad that for them, it's very difficult to progress. A good Scrum Master can, in a way, shelter the team from all these interruptions, help them concentrate, and help them reach their potential. So what the Scrum Master is, is a great person to help you make your teams more efficient. And this is probably one of the most important things for a product manager, because what you want as a product manager is to be backed by a team that is excellent, that is super efficient at delivering and executing. If you are able to do this, then you're going to be able to deliver in your plans, execute on them, and actually deliver value to your customers, which in the end is what you as a product manager, you as a team, you as a Scrum Master are there to do. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're interested to hear more about what the role of a product manager is compared to that one of a project manager, go check out this video. I will see you in the next one. And remember, stay safe.